Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So this is a stochastic processes a model 1 probability theory refresher, lecture 4 problems in sequence of random variables. As a illustrative examples we are going to discuss four problems in this lecture. The first problem let Z1, Z2, so on be a sequence of random variables each having Poisson distribution with parameter. that is Zn is Poisson distribution with the parameter n for n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Our interest is to find the limiting distribution of the random variable that is defined as y suffix n that is z n minus n divided by square root of n. So, given z n is Poisson distribution with the parameter n, we can find out the m g f of Zn. MGF of Zn is nothing but expectation of e power Zn of t that is same as summation k is equal to 0 to infinity e power k times t e power minus n n power k by k factor because it is a expectation of e power z n of t where z n is Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda therefore, this is going to be n k is equal to 0 to infinity this form. So, you can take e power minus n outside. So, the remaining term becomes k is equal to 0 to infinity e power t multiplied by n the whole thing power k by k factorial that is same as e power minus n e power n times e power t that can be rewritten as e power n times e power t minus 1. Now, we will find out the m g f of uh, the random variable y n, where y n is z n minus n divided by square root of n. Therefore, the m g f of the random variable y n as a function of t that becomes m g f of z n minus n divided by square root of n function of t that is same as expectation of e power z n minus n divided by root n multiplied by t. E 
you know the rules of a moment generating function the constant is out. So, you can use that logic. So, it becomes e power minus t times root n because n t by root n therefore, it becomes a t times root n. Then m g f of the random variable z n use the another rule of a moment generating function instead of t it becomes a t divided by square root of n. So, that is same as e power minus t times root n just now we found what is a moment generating function of z n. So, use the same thing, but replace t by t divided by square root of n. Therefore, this becomes e power n times wherever the t you replace t by t by square root of n. So, t by square root of n minus 1. Therefore, we can further simplify by expanding e power t by n. That means, you keep this e power n, you expand only e power t by square root of n that is 1 plus t divided by square root of n then the next term will be t square by 2 times n and the next term will be t cube divided by 3 factorial n power 3 by 2 and so on. And the last term is a, so this is expansion of e power t by square root of n minus 1. So, close the bracket that is same as e power t times square root of n multiplied by. So, this 1 and uh, plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled. So, you will get uh, e power n times uh, t by square root of n that becomes a t of uh, square root of n and the next term becomes a t square by 2 then it becomes a t cube by 3 factorial n power 1 by 2 and so on. Therefore, this becomes e power t square by 2 plus t cube by 3 factorial square root of n and so on. Our interest is to find out the limiting distribution of uh, y n. So, this is the moment generating function of uh, y n for n. So, as n tends to infinity because our interest is to find out the limiting distribution as n tends to infinity the moment generating function of y n becomes e power t square by 2. If you recall the moment generating function for standard distributions, one can conclude this is the MGF of a standard normal distribution. Therefore, we conclude the limiting distribution of y n is a standard normal distribution that is a, the limiting distribution z n minus n divided by square root of n is Yes, standard normal distribution. 
So, this problem is very important in the renewal processes. Therefore, we discuss this example as a how to find the limiting distribution of uh, some standard random variables.